We now bring you the program that brings together leading personalities, representative insights, all together in a meaningful and delightful conversation as your social barometer. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Hosted by Breakthrough Millennial Boomer, Gracie Venezuela, only here on V81 Radio. Hello and good evening, everybody. It's Sunday night once again. Time flies so quickly when you're having fun. And certainly here on V81 Radio Worldwide, we're always having fun. And tonight, let's chat with Tita Gracie. We'll go on a jazzy trip. You know, Metro Manila has been the home of a lot of fantastic jazz artists. And tonight will be a very special night because we are going to take a closer look at the ladies who light up the jazz stage all over the city. Now, before the pandemic, these ladies were very busy doing their own gigs in various shows. And um, I have had the pleasure of working with some of them. And uh, since the pandemic started, of course, all the stages went dark. But as they say, the creative spirit, the artist in these ladies cannot be contained. And tonight we have the three very distinct jazz artists to grace our screen. The first guest is Lynn Sherman. Hello, everyone. Hello, Good Lynn. Good evening, everyone. Gracie, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And thank you for accepting our invitation, Lynn. Uh, and we're going to be joined by two of our other friends. Um, we have also Miss Rika Arambula. Hi! Hi! Hi. And of Hi. course, you know, our, our group won't be complete without the very lovely Jeannie Tionko. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, Jeannie. And of course, with her forever date, Henry. <laughs> forever date. Walang bukingan. <laughs> Hi, hi. So tonight, we've got the three jazziest ladies in Metro Manila. And uh, we have our guests from all over the uh, all over the Philippines, all over the world, are listening to us right now. Lynn, would you like to say hello? To everybody around the world, everybody who's listening to V81 Radio, hello and welcome. Yes, how about you, Rika? Uh, around across the globe. Kamusta yes, po? Rika. Sorry. Yeah. Um, how are you doing, Rika? I am. Uh, how, how? What can I say? I'm glad to be busy doing some music in spite of the feeling of isolation. Yeah. It's not a comfortable, I, I, feeling. It's not a comfortable feeling, but the music has helped fantastic and how about you Jeannie? hello Jeannie. hi hi can you hear me how have you been doing my dear with the pandemic and all well actually i've uh, been busy teaching online and uh see henry naman is busy composing uh for his album uh so Basically, music pa rin. <laughs> um, very, very lovely in spite of the pandemic. It's really the music in your soul that's uh, showing. And, and it, it's, it's great to know that all three of you are safe. And uh, like I said, keeping the music alive. And I know that it has not been easy these past few months. Uh, and uh, even with the uh, GCQ, which will begin tomorrow, uh, I know that we will still be careful because we never know, you know, our, our, the, the pandemic is still a, a threat. And uh, tonight, what I, what I want to do is I want to give uh, some relaxing, some entertainment and relaxing music and some entertaining music to our guests. And I'm sure that the audience will see a diff three different uh, I, three different concepts of jazz. 
with the three of you in my show. And uh, I know that uh, what's important is that with the digital platform, V81 Radio can bring all of you to the whole world and all the Pinoys, not just in Manila, but in the USA, in parts of Asia, Australia, madami tayong mga kababayan na nakikinig ngayong gabi. So uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, I know that uh, you're interested to find out a little bit about each one. So I'm going to start with Rika now. Rika, I know that you also teach music, right? Yes, piano in particular. Wow, pareho pala kayo ni Jeannie, pareho mga music teachers. Yeah, because that was uh, actually my major in college. <laughs> Classical <laughs> piano. If you yes, didn't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I met you, you were already uh, doing pop and jazz on live stage. And I and uh, then later on, I found out that you have the Suzuki School that you're managing right now. Uh, yes. My mother started it in, in, uh, in the 80s. And then I, yes, I sort yes. of grew up doing that as well. So yeah. uh, actually, between you and Jeannie, uh, it's just been a whole life full of music since you were kids, no? Because you with your mom and then Jeannie with her father. And of course, we all know that you come from that very famous line of the Chonkos. So Jeannie, how was it like growing up in your house with, with your fam father being a very famous entertainer? It's, it's it's very musical for sure yun naman talaga eh no musical pero uh, kasi nga i grew up palaging wala yung father ko eh nasa abroad sila palagi so uh, it's just like siguro sa loob ng isang taon i would only be with him like uh, 6 months and then the half of the year wala na naman siya nasa it's either Australia or Saudi Arabia. Yon, kung san san sila talaga. So I grew up na, well, actually, ang dami kong naririnig ng mga kanta from them. But, uh, iba, yung, iba yung naging ano ko eh, focus ko. No? <laughs> Nag-decide ako to, to be a singer. Uh, my, basically, their music is more of the pop standard. And I chose to be different. <laughs> Standard, but uh, medyo, medyo malalim na konti. Pero ako talaga, I became an instant fan, Jean, because uh, I remember uh, the first time I, I had the chance to listen to you, I was in a, I, I, I was uh, managing a mall somewhere in the South at that time. I was doing some consulting work and they asked me to put a jazz show. And our common friend, si Pete Canson, uh, invited you and Henry to be part of that show. And when when you came up on stage, oh my God, plakadong plakado nitong babae na to, ang Sea Wind. I remember you sang a Sea Wind uh, piece and I, I'm such a big fan of Sea Wind. No? So sabi ko, I, I never forgot your name now since that night. <laughs> and this was uh, many years ago, but I can still remember that particular song of Sea Wind that you sang during our show. And then, Lynn, naman, Lynn I know that uh, you went to music school, right? No, actually, um, I, I was in a children's choir for about 10 years. Oh, okay. Uh, UP Cherubim and Seraphim, which was in, in uh, UP. But yes. I was actually a humanities major. But I hung out with my boyfriend, who was who's my husband now, who, who's a... <laughs> Composition major in the College of Music. <laughs> oh, then, then, it's, then it is true that you went to music school, but not to study. No, 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 that's right. <laughs> to, date, to hang out. <laughs> to hang out with the, one of the best arrangers, you know. Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, bear with us because I think we are having some internet issues today. However, uh, barring our technical difficulties, which we all have because of the unstable internet connection, join us for the next hour and a half because these two, these three ladies are going to give us some fantastic performances. And I'm sure it's going to be a, a very interesting jazzy night here in Let's 
chat with Tita Gracie on V81 Radio Worldwide. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this brief reminder. We'll be back shortly with Tita Gracie. Let's chat with Tita Gracie only here on V81 Radio.